when I was in medical school, I, I liked everything. Uh, and uh, I thought I wanted to be a plastic surgeon. Um, but um, when I uh, did plastic surgery, I said, you know, this isn't, this isn't the right thing. Uh, but I didn't want to do just surgery. So I think every urologist would tell you they pick urology because it's a great blend of clinic and surgery, adult, pediatric. So you can, you can follow patients uh, for their medical problems, and when something goes wrong, you can fix it. And when you're done fixing it, you get to follow them. And so uh, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of like primary care, but you don't have to send them away. Everyone thinks that uh, urology is just for men and just for their prostate. Um, and urology is a lot broader than that. You know, you'll have pediatric problems, uh, you'll have male and female patients, and probably about 40% of our patients are female. Um, you know, women get kidney stones, you have uh, kidney problems, uh, such as blockages of the kidneys, kidney tumors, things in the bladder. None of these involve the prostate. Uh, and some of these are chronic illnesses that need to be followed. Um, and when you think of uh, what we do, um, a lot of it's evaluation for problems or symptoms people have, and that may be with a physical exam, it may be with blood work, it may be with uh, just x-rays. Very rarely, you know, like I said, more than half of our uh, patient visits are follow-up visits. You know, it's, uh, it's patients that have a problem that we can usually evaluate and fix and see them back routinely. When I finished my residency about uh, six, seven years ago, I thought I was the best trained urologist and I thought I was, what I was gonna do when I joined the group was gonna be cutting edge. And I'll tell you about um, half of what I do now, if not more, has completely changed with the introduction of robotic surgery uh, that didn't exist when I was in training. You know, that came about after, you know, when my first year we were lucky enough to have a robot. So a bulk of what I do is robotic surgery uh, and uh, some other minimally invasive uh, reconstruction surgery that wasn't out there. When I joined Winter Park Urology, um, I was about 20 or 25 pounds heavier. And um, I think part of the group uh, mentality is that everyone's in good shape. Uh, and I think that that has carried on with our future partners. You know, I uh, I actually started running um, as a um, as a promise I made myself. It was it was I rationalized with myself that if I passed my boards, I would run a marathon. Told Dr. Phil about it. He thought it was a joke. Uh, so when I ran, next time he decided to run. We had a couple of new partners join. They ran and our nurse practitioners have started to run. So the running thing has all started from me just praying that I passed my oral boards about five years ago. Um, and um, ever since then, you know, it's, it's passed on even to the staff. Believe it or not, uh, uh, patients, patients do like their urologists. Uh, I think, uh, you know, when you, when you have that kidney stone and, and you hurt, uh, and the urologist can fix your kidney stone, all of a sudden, you like this guy.